Welcome to Awakening to Your Story TV, the place to learn, get inspired, and be supported with heart-centered solutions for your everyday life. I'm your host, Alicia Hartzell. And today we're going to be talking about some emotional tools that will help you understand your patterns of thinking. Because after all, where we end up in our life, how we end up feeling and what we end up experiencing all starts with how we think, right? Now, I'm going to be working off some notes that are part of the blog that you will find at the link in the comments. And if you want to ask questions, please let me know what you're thinking and how you're feeling about what we're talking about, because I want this tool to really help you find a way to feel better in your life. Okay, now let's start with the jellyfish beach. I created this tool really for my own well-being. And then I started teaching it to my clients and it really helped not only me, but them too. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to visualize a grassy dune, right? So a huge dune that's sand, sand, right? Going over to a beach and it's covered in grass and you're standing at the base of the dune. Do you have it in your mind? Okay, now I want you to walk up that grassy dune through the path that's beaten down in the sand up and over to the top of the dune. And as you look out over the crest of that dune, you see a beach. That's the jellyfish beach. It's covered with jellyfish. And as you walk down, you see that there's no place of where there's shade, like it's, it's really hot and the sand hurts your feet. And if the, even if you could get to the beach, to, right, to that water, it's filled with sharks. There's tons of birds flying over, trying to steal what you have or even poop on you. Everything about this beach represents suffering, right? This is the jellyfish beach. Now, as you move through this beach, you realize that nothing feels good. It's all uncomfortable. It's really out of alignment. It's not what you would want or expect or have a desire to feel, right? Now, this path, this jellyfish beach path in the dune, that's your pattern of thinking, right? This pattern of thinking really represents that misaligned place within yourself where you are living according to limiting beliefs and where there's a lot of suffering within your own thoughts, right? Now, usually a negative pattern of thoughts um, are aligned with those limiting beliefs. And the limiting beliefs really are these conditioned things that you think about yourself or the world around you, or these things that you've adopted because people have said it to you enough that you think that it's true. Now, it's also representing this kind of fight, flight, or freeze part of your amygdala, where If you're thinking from that amygdala place, it really keeps you in this sense of survival, right? Now, if you've walked up and down that path a lot of times, which we're human, we do, right? These limiting beliefs that we're living through day to day, we think along that path of thought. And we've walked it so many times that the grass won't even grow back in that place. It's second nature to us. And this is where we start to think that we don't have power over our thoughts. The truth is you have power over what you think and feel. You have autonomy over what you think and feel. And when you are living according to a a train of thought or a pattern of thinking, that has become second nature to you and that ends up leading you to a place like the jellyfish beach where you're suffering, 
it can really feel like your thoughts have control over you rather than you having control over your thoughts. And that's why it's really valuable to activate your metacognition. This is where you get to witness your thoughts and how they have a pattern and you get to make a choice about them, right? Now I want you to go back down to the bottom of the dune. I want you to really put yourself there. And this is this is what I want you to do as you realize that you've gone down the jellyfish beach path of thinking, right? I want you to activate your metacognition, take a few deep breaths in and out and really allow yourself to find your center again, okay? Square breathing is my favorite way to do it, where you inhale for four, you hold for four, you exhale for four, and then you hold for four. Just a few of those will really help you get back to the base of that dune, right? Then what I want you to do is I want you to choose a thought that feels better. Now, I know this is going to feel like work at first. You're not going to want to because that second nature pull to go down the jellyfish beach is real. It, it, it really is a second nature pattern. But you have the power to choose your thoughts. And so once you're there, once you've found your center, I want you to choose a thought that feels better. And it can be easy at first. It can be just a thought of gratitude or a thought of appreciation. You can start to activate what's possible, right? I'm actually going to link a video here that will help you really understand the difference between prefrontal cortex thinking and amygdala thinking, right? Okay, it's going to be right here. Go back and study that too. But as you choose a thought that feels better, it's coming from that place of higher level thinking. It's coming from your prefrontal cortex. It's coming from that place of aligned truth within yourself, right? With each thought, you're building a new path of thinking. One thought, one feeling at a time, right? Slowly and surely, you are building up that new path through the sand, right? You can feel the cool grass underneath your feet as you take each thought up that dune to a new crest at the top, right? Now, as you get there and you look out and you start to see, oh, you're at a new beach, that new path of thinking has led you to a whole new experience. I like to call this the Pina Colada Beach. Now, as you go over that crest and you see the beach, you notice that the sun is, is beaming, but that as the waves come and crash in on the sand, it looks like the sand is glitter in the sunlight. You notice the palm trees and the chase lounges and the hammocks all ready and waiting to give you shade and comfort and coziness. There's even a pina colada waiting for you, right? If you wanted to go into the ocean, all you see are glorious, majestic turtles floating in the surf. Everything about this experience feels good and supportive, right? This is the Pina Colada Beach. And this is the experience that you have when you choose a more aligned path of thinking, right? So as you step into this place and you feel better, you want to keep coming back here. The problem is, is that when you are in your life just living and you are maybe not conscious about every thought that you're thinking, when you find yourself at the base of that, of that dune, that second nature pull is going to want to pull you to the jellyfish beach. This is why it's so important to be conscious and curious about where you are. That's why this analogy or metaphor really helps you physically choose because you can put yourself there. You can put yourself on the path of thinking visually and experientially, and you can imagine what it would be like to be at both of those paths, both of those beaches, right? As you use this tool, I want you to really understand that the grass will eventually grow up over the jellyfish beach path. 
the more you choose the pina colada beach path, right? Changing your path of thinking doesn't happen overnight. Just like grass growing up over one path won't happen overnight. But the more that you choose your higher level path of thinking, that pina colada beach path of thinking, the more you're going to wear it down. And the easier it's going to be for the grass to grow up on that kind of negative fight, flight, or freeze kind of thinking, right? Now, what you want to keep in mind as you're doing this is that you need to spend equal or more time consciously choosing the Pina Colada Beach path of thinking about everything, right? Whether you're thinking about yourself, whether you're thinking about the world around you, whether you're thinking about what you're making for dinner or who you're going to, whatever it is, right? This is that positive bias rather than the negative bias. These thoughts are always going to lead you to a place that feels better. And you have the power to choose those thoughts. Thoughts don't have the power over you. You have the power over them. And that's one of the beautiful things about this tool. It really allows you to take ownership for the autonomy that you naturally have over what you think and how you feel, right? Okay, now I want you to know that each thought is an opportunity. You are creating the story of your life, one thought and one feeling at a time. You have the power in your story. Use this tool often, get curious, stay conscious, and find that you can live the life that you really want to, right? Now, if you have questions, please put them in the comments. I love writing back to you and hearing about what's going on in your life. Like the video, subscribe to my channel, head over to the blog and get more information. And until next week, I want you to know that your cozy spot on the Pina Colada Beach, well, it's undeniable.